amidst the turbulent water of the Galapagos Islands, a group of tourists are about to embark on an epic challenge. Their mission, to sail from one island to another so they can witness the majesty of the giant tortoises. Hi everyone! This training task is known as Nautical Adventure in the Galapagos Islands, a challenge that will require creativity, ingenuity, and of course, a touch of science. Let's join them on this journey of discovery and experimentation. But before that, do you know that we're surrendered by things that move by expanding carbon dioxide? Yes, such as uh, cars, planes, motorcycles, and even boats. All of this burn fuel resulting in the emission of carbon dioxide. Alright, how will we do it? To start, here's a collection of materials that will help us trigger amazing chemical reactions to achieve our goal. Plastic bottle, which will simulate our shape. Scissors. Drinking straw. Modeling clay. Vinegar. Basin. Baking soda. Blue and brown food coloring. Bleach. Blue and acrylic paint. Great. Now that we have all the materials, we can begin. I need some help. First, it careful cut a hole in the side of the plastic bottle using the scissors. Then we will treat the straw through the hole with the curved side facing all around and we use a um, modeling clay to seal everything around to keep the straw in place in this form i also be in charge of uncaping and filling the bottle with vinegar to about 50 milliliter now We'll take a paper tissue and place a spoonful of baking soda in the center. I fold it like a package and insert into the bottle like this. Paint the edge of the islands, blue for the ocean and green for the land. If you don't have this color, that's okay. Use the color you have to make it look nice. This. Decorate the land uh, of the island with brown and green paint. You can make brown spot for beach, sand and green spot for vegetation. But wait, to carefully plan our route, we must know from which island we set sail in order to spot the giant tortoise. We'll create a model of our Galapagos island. Finally, we'll cut and give our ship a little shake, then place in the basin of water next to our mop. Look how the effervescence and bubble make it move. Let's explain what, what's happened. Now let's take a look at the science behind what just happened. Chemistry has become our ally. The reaction between vinegar and baking soda generates bubbles and enough energy to propel the bottle forward. Baking soda reacts with the acetic acid present in the vinegar. The general chemical equation for this reaction is the one you can see now on screen. When baking soda comes into contact with vinegar, which is acetic acid, an acid-base reaction occurs. Baking soda acts as a weak base. This reaction forms sodium acetate, water, and carbon dioxide. The formed sodium acetate is soluble in water and generally remains dissolved in the mixture. Carbon dioxide is the gas released in the form of bubbles during this reaction, which when released under pressure through our straw, is responsible for a bottle's ability to continue moving forward. You should know that the CO2 bubbles that are generated is something called effervescence. 
which comes along with an increase in volume of the mixture. There are other ways to replicate our experiment with other materials we might find at home, such as bleach with hydrogen peroxide or soda with sugar. The reactions give similar results. In the case of combining 50 milliliters of bleach and 50 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide in the reaction, sodium hypochlorite present in the bleach reacts with hydrogen peroxide. The general chemical equation for this reaction is the one we see on the screen. Sodium hypochlorite is a strong oxidizer and can release oxygen atoms, while hydrogen peroxide acts as an additional source of oxygen. When bleach and hydrogen peroxide are mixed, a chemical reaction is initiated in which the components of the bleach and the hydrogen peroxide react. During the reaction, sodium chloride and water are formed as products, and the most notable outcome is the release of gaseous oxygen. This reaction is exothermic, which means that it releases heat due to the exothermic nature of oxygen release. Oxygen is released in the form of bubbles visible in the solution. This release of oxygen gives prominence to the effervescence and an increase in volume in the mixture. Once again, upon exiting on the pressure through our straw, the bubbles are responsible for allowing our bottle to continue its curse. So did you have a following Avengers when it touch for the chemistry and that's for creativity and a job of the enthusiasm. We had tackled the challenge for the transporting students between the island. Chemistry because for airline and fun because for drying. Perhaps we navigate in nautical adventures in the Galapagos Islands. Missy Journal reminds it has enzymes is everywhere, every on the surface on the ocean. We read into the exploring and enjoy the new world's the possibilities. When the chemistry has the wind in ourselves in for her destination. Encore everywhere in France. <laughs>